Hello class, we're about to start lesson 10, add and subtract polynomials. Add polynomials with one variable. On the re mathematical reasoning test, you may be re required to add polynomials that have one variable. You can add polynomials when they have like terms, including variables and exponents. When you see polynomials within parentheses, linked by an addition sign, add them by combining the like terms across the polynomial. Okay, now we're going to go through that more extensively as we go through the lesson. Now we come to subtracting polynomials. It says the only difference between adding and subtracting polynomials is the minus sign between the parentheses. You must distribute the negative sign across the second polynomial. To distribute the negative sign across the second polynomial, simply reverse the signs of each term then drop the parentheses and combine like terms across both polynomials. Again, well, let's take a look at this. You notice here you have a minus sign in front of this parentheses. Now, if we look inside this parentheses, the 7x squared is positive, the 2x is positive, and then you have minus 16. When we rewrite this, which, which starts here, the positive 7x squared becomes minus 7x squared. The positive 2x becomes minus 2x, and the minus 16 becomes positive 16. And if you notice, the first parenthesis remains the same. So that's what happens when you have a minus sign in front of the parenthesis. Now going back up, I know I kind of glossed over this addition sign here, but with the addition, the only thing you do is basically just drop the parentheses when you have the addition and continue on with the operation. Now, we're going to move on to the next page, and we're going to try some of these problems. So as you see here, on the next page, we have problem uh, practice 10.1, add the following polynomials. I'm going to do maybe about three from each, each set. So let's start off with problem number... Let me see. I think 8, 9, and 10 are the best ones for us to do. Well, no. Let me start off with number 5. Number 5. We have 9x squared minus 3x minus 2 plus 2x squared plus 5x plus 5. Now, again, if you want to try some of these on your own, you should try them and then look at the answers. They're on page 673. So you could try those and see if this has taken with you. Okay, now, <clears throat> now if you notice here, this first parenthesis is nothing in common, so we would just drop the parenthesis and bring down everything as is. So we had 9x squared minus 3x minus 2. That took care of the first parenthesis. Now, because we have a plus in front of the second parenthesis, we just bring everything down as is. So it'd be 2x squared, 5x, and the 5. So we dropped the parentheses and brought everything down. Now we combine like terms. You had 9x squared plus 2x squared, which is 11x squared. Then you had negative 3x plus 5x. Negative 3x plus 5x is a positive 2x. And then we have negative 2 plus 5. Negative 2 plus 5 is a positive 3. And this right here is your final answer for problem number 5. Okay, next. Let's look at problem number 8. Problem number 8. In the first parenthesis, we have 2x squared plus 5x. Plus, in the second parenthesis, we had 2x squared plus 4x plus 7x minus 9. Okay, now with this first parenthesis, we bring it down as is because there's no uh, like terms here. So we had 2x squared plus 5x. Now with this second parenthesis, we do have like terms here with the 4x and the 7x. 4x plus 7x is 11x. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring the parentheses down as 2x squared. We're going to make this 11x minus 9. 
So now, <laughs> we'll still bring down the 2x squared plus 5x. But since we have a plus sign in this parenthesis, and there's nothing else we can combine, we'll bring everything down as is. Now, we combine like terms. 2x squared and 2x squared is 4x squared. 5x plus 11x will be a positive 16x. And then we'll bring down a minus 9. That is our only constant. So this is our final answer. 4x squared plus 16x minus 9. Okay, now, <clears throat> let me see if I can make this just a little larger. Yeah, I think that's better. All right, now we go here to problem number 10. Problem 10 is a little lengthy. So we have negative a squared minus a squared minus a minus 4 <clears throat> plus, in the second parenthesis, negative a squared minus a squared minus a minus 5. <clears throat> now, the first thing we're supposed to do is see if we can combine any terms inside these parentheses. Negative a squared minus a squared is a negative 2a squared. Because these two are like terms and we bring down our minus a minus 4. Plus, negative a squared and negative a squared is a negative 2a squared minus a minus 5. Now, we could drop the parentheses here as negative 2a squared minus a minus 4. And then here, we would drop the parentheses, so we have plus negative 2a squared minus a minus 5. Now, we combine like terms. Negative 2a squared plus a negative 2a squared is a negative 4a squared. Negative a minus a is a negative 2a. Because remember, with those negative a's, it's assumed to be a 1 in front of both of them. So that's negative 2a. Negative 4 minus 5 is a minus 9. So this right here is your final answer. Now, that took care of the first set when you add. Now we're going to go to the subtraction. So we're going to start off with, let me start off with problem 16. I might as well get the longer problem. So we'll start off with problem 16. We have 9x squared plus 4x plus 5x plus 4 minus 7x squared plus 6x minus 9. Okay, so now this is our problem. So we look at our first parenthesis. See if we can combine like terms. We can. 9x squared, 4x plus 5x is 9x plus 4. Minus, second parenthesis, there's nothing in common. Now we could drop the parenthesis from this first parenthesis here. So we have 9x squared plus 9x plus 4. And then because there's a minus sign in front of this parenthesis, we would change the sign of everything inside this parenthesis. So positive 7x squared would become a minus 7x squared. Positive 6x would become minus 6x. And a minus 9 would become positive 9. Because this minus in front of this parenthesis means the opposite of everything you see. Or, I showed you this in a previous lesson. This minus parenthesis is really like having a negative 1 that you would multiply by each, each term. So now, we combine like terms. 9x squared minus 7x squared is 2x squared. A positive 9x minus 6x is a positive 3x. 4 plus 9 is a positive 13. And that is it for problem 16. All right, now, we will go next. I'm going to go back and do problem 13. Because I want to do a shorter one and then we will end with the long one. We will end with problem number 20. So let's go back and do problem 13. Problem 13. Let's see if I can have Okay. Problem 13 is 2a plus 1 
minus negative a minus 1. That's problem 13. Now, the first parenthesis, they have nothing in common, so you could drop the parenthesis, so you add 2a plus 1. Second parenthesis has nothing in common, but since there's a minus sign in front, we change the sign of everything on the inside. So negative a becomes positive a. Negative 1 becomes positive 1. Now we combine like terms, 2a plus a. Now remember, that's assumed to be 1a, so this would be 3a. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. So you add 3a plus 2. Okay, last but not least, we'll be doing problem number 20. All right. Problem 20. We have 21x squared plus 3x squared minus 2x minus 4 minus 1. Minus, we will have 3x squared plus x squared plus x plus 2x minus 5 minus 1. Okay, now we look at this first parenthesis. We combine the like terms. 21x squared and 3x squared is 24x squared. So next we have negative 2x. Nothing else combines with that. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. And we'll leave that in this parenthesis. Now we have minus in the second parenthesis. 3x squared plus x squared will give us 4x squared. x plus 2x is a positive 3x. And negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. So now we have 24x squared minus 2x minus 5 it has nothing in common, so we could drop those parentheses. 24x squared minus 2x minus 5. Now we have a minus sign in front of this parenthesis. We could take we could take the opposite sign of all of these. So 4x squared will become a minus 4x squared. 3x becomes minus 3x, and a negative 6 becomes positive 6. Now we combine the like terms. 24x squared minus 4x squared is 20x squared. Negative 2x minus 3x is a negative 5x. And negative 5 plus 6 is a negative 1. I mean a positive 1. So this is our final answer. 20x squared minus 5x plus 1. All right, now. We move on. There's two more problems. We have problem 21 and problem 22. All right, so it says choose the one best answer to each question. It says what is the sum of the polynomial? And then for 22 it says which of the following equals this here. So basically we're doing the same thing we just did. One parenthesis with addition one parenthesis with subtraction. So let's get to it. So we go to problem 21. We have a parenthesis 2xy plus 3xy squared minus 4x squared y plus parenthesis 5x squared y minus 3xy squared plus 2xy. Now, this first parenthesis, we have nothing in common, so we drop the parenthesis and bring down all the values. Second parenthesis, since there's a plus sign in front, we'll bring everything down as is without the parenthesis. So we will have a positive 5x squared y minus 3xy squared plus 2xy. Now we're going to go through and combine the like terms. Now typically you're supposed to write this in order. So what we would do, since all of these have x, y, we will find the one with the highest uh, exponent on the x, which is this negative 4x squared y and a positive 5x squared y. So when we add these two together, that will leave us x squared y. So that would take care of the x squared y's. Now we look at the x. 
and we'll look at the one with the uh, y squared. Well, we could do the xy. The xy is fine. So we had 2xy and 2xy, which is a positive 4xy. And then finally, the xy squared, we had 3xy squared minus 3x squared, what? 3xy squared. These simplify out to zero. So this right here is your final answer. x squared y plus 4xy, which is a. So your answer here is a. All right, now, 22. Now, this is the subtraction problem. We have 5x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 3x squared minus 3x minus 2. First parenthesis, they have nothing in common. You drop the parentheses. You have 5x squared minus 2x plus 1. Second parenthesis, you have a minus sign in front, so it changes the sign of everything inside the second parenthesis. So 3x squared becomes a minus 3x squared. Minus 3x becomes plus 3x, and minus 2 becomes plus 2. Now we combine like terms. 5x squared minus 3x squared is 2x squared. Negative 2x plus 3x is a positive x. And positive 1 plus 2 is a positive 3. So our answer is 2x squared plus x plus 3, which is c. And we're done with the first part of uh, lesson 10. And so I will upload this to YouTube. Have a wonderful day.